I know, like me, you've been extremely, extremely concerned and anxious and crazed about all the things that are going on with COVID-19 and being stuck at home and spending time with the family, so much time with the family and having a refrigerator full of food is making you crazy because every single time that you feel stressed, you feel like you have to eat or every time you see food, you feel like you've got to eat it. But that's really just because you're stressed. It's not because you're physically hungry. It's not because your body needs that food. That's why over the past eight months, I've been working on my program, Losing Weight Without Dieting. It is ready for you. And with the love and loyalty bonus, what you get is when I have the audios ready, they will be yours. But here's what's in the program. It's a seven week program. The first four weeks are devoted to teaching you about the different types of hunger, how to feel hunger in your body, um, dealing with the stress that you've got going on in your life, all of the craziness that's making you, you know, see images of food pop up and um, just feel like completely overwhelmed by your cravings. That's the first half of the program. The next half of the program, sessions five, six, and seven, is all about teaching you how to make over a negative self-image, how to build confidence, how to create confidence from the inside out. So that basically means that when you create a core of confidence inside of you, nobody can touch you. No rejection, no, nothing that anybody says to you. Um, you'll bounce back from disappointments and frustrations and, and all sorts of difficult times, just like this time right now. You are a survivor. And I know that you've been through tougher times than this, tougher times than we're facing. It may not have looked the same, but I know you've been through some really, really tough and difficult times. And by giving you, by putting in your hands these tools to give you the ability to choose food or not choose food, oh my gosh, that is such amazing power. Here's what you'll learn. You will learn how to slow down the pace of your eating. So I'll teach you how to slow down the pace of your eating using a process that I created called the Mindful and Gentle Eating Process. And because I only ask you to do that three times out of each week, the rest of the time you eat at any pace that you want to, it doesn't matter because the beauty of it is, is that when your mind starts to get a sampling of doing something in a different way, you find a happy medium. So all of the compulsion that drives the fast eating and the feeling like you have to eat this food right now and eat huge amounts of it, completely switches and changes. Because using this process, the mindful and gentle eating process, where I'm really, really gonna teach you how to slow down. I'm gonna ask you to look at your food. I'm gonna ask you to smell your food. I'm gonna ask you to put the food just at the tip of your tongue where all of the taste buds are. And then hold it there for a second or two. I'm gonna ask you to put it in your mouth and hold it there and then move it from side to side because you know what? When you do that, there's a change of nuance of flavors that will hit you out of nowhere. Why am I asking you to do this? Well, the reason I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this is so that you can extract all of, this, all of the sensual enjoyment and pleasure out of your eating so that you won't be going for quantity over quality. 
you are going to become the most discriminating, picky eater ever. And you're going to find that you're going to feel extremely comfortable eating less. Oh, yeah. Putting food away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and even refusing food when you know you're not hungry. Oh, yes. It's crazy and it's insane, but it's true. And what you're going to find is that. As you use the stress relief techniques that I teach you, which are so, so important. That is the foundation of the whole program. Nothing works unless you do the stress relief techniques. Because by giving you permission to eat every single food that you want, there's nothing that is off limits to you. We are taking off, we are stripping the blanket of restriction. Gone, history over, okay? You are the boss. You get to decide how much you eat, when you eat, what you eat. Yeah, no more dieting, no more deprivation, no more restriction, no more hunger. So I'm so excited to be offering this to you for $9. And you will find four videos. Well, there's the introduction video, and then there will be four videos in the first segment, which is called Reject the Diet Mentality. And I explained to you what the diet mentality is, what it looks like, and why you must reject it. <laughs> and lesson number two is about the four faces of hunger. The four types of hunger. Biological hunger, taste hunger, practical hunger, and emotional hunger. One of the tools that I'll be teaching you is called the tapas acupressure technique. The tapas acupressure technique was created by a woman named Tapas Fleming. And she actually credits this stress relief method to, to her ability to cure herself of cancer. So in this program, I'm going to teach you how to use stress relief techniques to question the phantom hungers that you're going to be experiencing because it's not even a question of if, it's when. You are going to be experiencing hunger when your body is not physically hungry. And it's really just a matter of you learning to calibrate inside of yourself and pay attention to these new, subtly kind of nuanced messages that your body is sending you that up until now, you've responded to them with either saying, no, I'm just gonna like tough it out. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give in to the craving, or you just went ahead and ate and, you know, accepted whatever consequences came with that. For example, let's say you just have lunch and it was a really delicious and satisfying lunch. And then all of a sudden, like half an hour later, you're sitting at your desk or wherever you may be and you have that image of like, oh, wow, the cookies in the cabinet or, or the candy that I left on the counter. I've got to eat that. I've got to eat it right now. Now, it's entirely up to you. You could do exactly what I did, which was my recipe for weight gain. And that is just go to the cookies, go to the candy, go to the, the whatever food it is and just eat through that craving. And hey, there is no shame here, none. Or you could do what my clients did, 
and that's to go through a process of inquiry and say, hmm, what do I really want? Do I want to eat the cookies? Don't I, do I want, what do I want to do? What do I want? What do I want? What do I need? But in terms of what do I want? Lesson number three, I'm going to teach you emotional freedom techniques. Such an amazing, amazing stress relief technique. And you'll get an opportunity to walk through that by reading the transcripts, listen to the audios of Jackie and Marianne and Jessica going through the, the process of taking their limiting beliefs and shattering them blowing them to bits. So we're going to continue on the fourth lesson doing the same thing using emotional freedom technique and I'll teach you how to use a process called affirmations which is a unique and empowering way of using questions. And the next part of the course, what I'm going to be focusing on is teaching you how to deal with the resistance. Because don't be surprised, it's going to crop up. It's going to happen. So let's plan for it. And by sharing with you the original transcripts of the women who went through the course with me when I taught it from 2005 to 2007, I took out the very, very best bits for you. What you will get is a fly on the wall experience of working with me and you will hear from them how they overcome their challenges around the resistance that they felt and what they do. That's why the last half of the course is devoted to teaching you all about being more assertive, saying what's on your mind, feeling comfortable to, to say no, and taking really, really super good, loving care of yourself. Lesson number five, I'm going to walk you through a visualization that was created by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. It's called Theater of the Mind, and the whole idea of it is to teach you how to see yourself from an empowered, powerful, killer perspective. That's where you build the confidence. You see things before you do them. So lesson number six is all about embracing resistance because I gotta tell you, you're gonna face some resistance because it's scary breaking through all these limitations and seeing yourself pushing away food and not wanting it and you know making the decision to choose a baked potato over french fries. It'll like blow your mind. And at a point, it's gonna be like you're kind of gonna hit a wall and you're gonna say, I don't want to do tapping anymore. I don't want to, you know, do, um, I don't want to ask myself any questions. I don't want to do all these things. So in order to be able to deal with that, which is a really natural part of change, resistance, I teach you how to go through certain processes to flip the resistance on its head and it melts it away and gets you back into the hang of doing the stress relief. The whole second part of the program is all about teaching you how to be more confident at every stage, every age, every part of the process as you pass through it to be confident and to be strong and assertive, say what's on your mind, all that good stuff. And lesson number seven is uh, Q&A with the women who asked me several questions. And in that book, um, in the exercises, I teach you uh, Connie Ray Andreas 
naturally slender eating strategy, my particular take on it. And I walk you through future pacing so that you can make choices of what you want to eat based on imagining what it's like to eat it before you do, before you make the choice, and then feeling the sensations in your body. So for example, let's just say you decide that you're going to want to eat a pound of M&Ms um, because you have them in the house. You know, no big deal. You can eat them. Sure. But when you have free access to eating whatever it is that you want, all of a sudden food so becomes a choice and not a compulsion. You have this technique, this strategy that Connie Ray Andreas taught me where you imagine eating this pound of M&Ms. You get this sensation in your body of like, oh my God, I don't want the bloating. I don't want the gas. I don't want to feel nauseous. So you start to modify and you start to change things. So, oh my God, get ready, buckle up. This is going to be the most amazing ride for you. Click on the link and let's get started. I can't wait to see you there. I love you. Bye.